and he held, he came in prior about, I want to say about the 1840s, he came in from the east, and he actually helped settle uh, Corpus Christi, and in fact, he also helped funding for the port, port, uh, the port and helped drudge the channel, so he was really helpful in getting, getting his industry and putting this on the map. But he came in, when he first moved to Texas, he was a newspaper writer, and then he became a lawyer, and then, then the judge, he was a Confederate soldier, so he was a lot of things. But uh, when I met him, he was the hanging judge, and that was his nickname. And I am Chipita Rodriguez, and I'm famous today. There's lots of books and poems and plays written about me. Um, but when I met him, I was a squatter, uh, around the Bluntser area, and I lived right on the Nueces River. I had a little shack there, and I boarded. So if people, when travelers came in through, they would stay at my place. I would feed them, they could sleep outside. Never, they never came into my home, it wasn't anything like that. But they knew that they can leave their stuff there. I would take care of it, and I would feed them. And it was, so a lot of the people coming in from San Antonio would stop there. But my last traveler, I did not know was a Union man towards the end of the Civil War and um, when he came here he did business and sold some cattle and horses I believe to uh, the Confederates but before he got back to my home he stopped off for some beers and he boasted about all this gold he just made and some of the people probably didn't like hearing that. But, you know, as most people, they sleep at night, so I was asleep, but when I woke up, the sheriff was there and arrested me, and arrested me on murder, murdering of that Union man for his gold pieces, but the gold pieces were found in the Nueces River about a mile from my home, so I didn't steal anything, and I didn't kill anyone, but being a little Hispanic woman, didn't speak any English. Uh, I had a son, and that was it. I had no support, no nothing, and there really wasn't any help. And throughout the trial, I kept saying, no soy, uh, no soy compable. I'm innocent, I'm innocent, I'm innocent until the day I die. Half the jury believed I was innocent, but he didn't care. He hung me anyways. He found me guilty. Um, it was a group though from Nueces County about in the 80s, uh, 1985, my name was, I was pardoned for my crime. So I was, my memory, my name was set free and I was, had some honor afterwards. But the legend goes, when the fog rolls into Bluntser, and off the Nueces River, when it's real deep, you can hear me moaning and crying still today. So I guess I remain. Thank <laughs> you.